Welcome to a new vlog. It's been a while. For today's vlog, I thought we could go into town. I have quite a few things I need to buy. Um, one moment. Um, so I don't know if you've seen before, but I like to use washi tape on my orders. Um, I like to try and match the washi tape to the order. Um, and I let myself <laughs> overindulge a little bit when we went to Japan because I have the best washi tape in Korea. Korea also had a great selection of washi tape as well. Um, but this storage solution is no longer working. I can't put a lid on this to keep the dust out. Um, so I'm hoping our local Daiso in town will have some sort of storage solution because it is Japanese and they have storage solutions for everything. So hopefully um, we can find something for this because this is not working. <laughs> hopefully we can find some like little drawers or something. That is the plan for today. Hope you stick around. Look at this mess. <laughs> There's so many. Whoops. That one's like a sticker sheet, which I didn't realize when I bought it, but but yes, this is this is not working anymore. <laughs> Let's hope Daiso has something else for me. <laughs> also, don't worry, I haven't forgotten about this not so little project. Hi, Jim here from the future, just jumping in to explain what this project actually is, because I didn't actually explain it in this video. Um, I've always loved the idea of temperature blankets, which are these if you haven't seen them before. Um, but I live in a really small house with like zero storage, so I have no use or place to put really big, nice handmade blankets. So instead I decided to make a miniature version um, using DC embroidery thread and a very small crochet hook. Um, I do have a full video on me starting this and my process of deciding on the colors and everything um, on my channel if you'd like to check it out. Um, and I'm also hoping to make another update video, like a full video on it um, sometime soon as well. Um, but yes, um, essentially I went away for all of um, March with my boyfriend to Korea and Japan and I didn't take this project with me so I'm really far behind um, and I also need to get some more threads for it, um, which I will explain later but I thought I'd just jump in here to uh, explain what the heck this project is that I've just mentioned and not said anything further about. <laughs> Alright, hopefully that uh, makes sense and back to the video. <laughs> Um, we're still stuck in February because I, because I went away. Um, I have caught up to where I was when I went away. Um, but I haven't started crocheting the squares for my holiday because, um, if you haven't watched my last video, I am doing this project on where I'm sleeping that night. So a lot of people choose to just do it for their hometown, which is fair. It makes it a lot more simple, but I'm wanting to track my travel as well. So I tracked the temperatures of each place I stayed that night over the over my month long trip. Um, and the temperatures got quite a lot colder than I was expecting. Um, so originally I had one or two colors to cover the temperatures below zero degrees Celsius. Um, but <laughs> we spent quite a lot of time in negatives. Um, so overall, the coldest temperature we had was in Sapporo in um, northern Japan, which got down to minus 13, um, which is probably the coldest weather I've ever been in. Um, Sapporo was amazing. Uh, we ended up having like almost like a blizzard the last night that we were there. Um, which was so cool to see. I'm such a fan of um, snow because I didn't see snow until I was like 17. So I love snow so much, um, but yes. So I would like to pad out the colors that I have a little bit more before I start crocheting um, and I'm going to amend the colors below zero. Uh, we're gonna go to my local craft store before I do that though, I think I'm going to make a little uh, swatch card, is that what it's called? Um, just like a little card with all the colours that I currently have attached. So I'll do that and then we can head into town. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so these are the ones I want to alter. So this one currently is my three degrees, but I just don't feel like it really fits within that. I just didn't have enough blues in my stash to pat it out and I didn't buy any other ones before I started this project. So I think I might, I think I'm happy with it from maybe even from here, I think, which is not uh, five degrees. So I might only put my five degrees on here and then I'll edit the ones that are above that, but I'll still attach what I've got for those temperatures. When I take it into the store, I just want to write them down. So I stopped midway here because it was just taking too long and I only need the lower colors anyway. Um, so I've got these three. The lowest one is going to be minus three to minus five. This one's going to be minus six to minus 10. And then this one's going to be minus 11 to minus 15. And then I think I want um, one color each for minus one and minus two. So I'll get two more colors. Um, and then we've got the zeros and all the way um, so I do want to alter these a bit as well because these three are really close in color and there's just not really much point in having them so close together and this one just doesn't really fit. It's just so much brighter than the rest of everything. Um, so I'd also like to try and change this one out for something else as well. But I'll continue this when I get home but we should go out now because it is after lunchtime now and we need to get on with our day. <laughs> um, all right. I'm going to get my things together and we're going to go catch a bus. There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart is so Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am home? Wait, hold on Be together, take me back where I belong I want it all Take you back to my youth Show you what I wish I knew My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I hung that spoon The other ring of my wrist is gone 
Bearing with the light it holds When I return from my spinning ball I'm remembering the words you told me Wait, hold on We'll be together Take me back to Bible I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Well, that was a pretty successful shopping trip. I thought I'd do a little bit of a haul. So boring, I got this. Um, just to make backing cards and thank you notes for my orders. I still hand make them. I'd really, I, one day I'd love to get proper printed ones, but that time is not yet. <laughs> we don't sell quite enough of those to make it worthwhile. Um, and also just um, postage bags to get my orders out to people. Again, would love custom ones one day, but not yet. <laughs> uh, and then I went to the craft store. Um, I needed a smaller hook. Um, for a project, um, as well as some extra interchangeable needles that I don't have this size in my kit. So there's the 6.5s. And then I got the colours. Not super happy with my choices <laughs> that I made, but they'll have to do for now. Um, I got um, a couple blues to go in between the other ones, and I tried to replace that really bright blue as well. So I got a few more and I'll see if they work later um, once I put them together with the other ones. And then I also went to Daiso. Um, and then I got these. Hopefully they fit my washi tapes. I did take my largest one and I couldn't open it because it's got plastic covering on it, but I put it up against it and I think it fits. I only got three of them because Daiso does the three for ten dollars kind of thing. Um, so yeah, we only got three of them, so I might need to get more, but I figured three was a good starting point. Um, and we'll see if they fit first, and then I'll go get some more. But I think they kind of stack, so I think it'll be quite good. And they're nice and clear, so I can see which ones I'm getting out. And then this one's kind of random. I started trying to stitch my temperature squares together recently, before I went on holiday, and they work, but they're quite wonky because I never blocked them. Um, so the edges aren't quite straight and they're not like quite, they're not really square. So they don't really stitch together very well. So I really do need to block them, but I don't really have any way of making them all the exact same size. Um, and I don't really have like a blocking board or like pins or anything. Um, so my, <laughs> my idea at the moment is to get a cork board and measure out exactly how big they should be and make little put little pins in them and hopefully block them that way. Um, yeah, I don't know if this is going to be thick enough, but we'll give it a go and if it doesn't work we'll find some other solution. But yeah, it's quite a thin cork, so we'll, I'm not sure if it'll hold up, but yeah. Bit of a harebrained idea, but it was cheap, so we'll give it a go. <laughs>
Um, I think we're gonna need about three more boxes. I have a few more than I thought. It's quite hard to figure out how to categorize them. Um, but this will do for now and I'll get you some more boxes and then I might revisit it. So that's about all I can do for now. I have a problem. Alright, I finally decided what I'm going to do. So this one's going to be uh, 5 degrees, which is what it was. Um, this one's 4 degrees, which is what it was. This one's going to re replace 3 degrees. That one's also going to replace 2 degrees. So it's just a little bit better of a gradient. Uh, then we've got 1 degree, 0 degree. Um, that one's going to be minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 to minus 5. And that's going to be minus 6 to minus 10. And that's going to be minus 11 to minus 15. And that should cover me for what for my holiday. Um, so I'm going to put these on bobbins and then we can finally start completing the month long trip that I took. <laughs> Sweet. I forgot to film an outro when I filmed this like a week and a half ago, so here I am. Um, I mentioned briefly in a caption earlier in the video, but um, I have been unable to find any more of those little drawers that uh, were perfect for my watchy tape, and I'm so sad. I went back to Daiso about a week later and they were just out of stock. Um, and I'm hoping it's just that they haven't ordered more and that they're going to get more. Um, but the they have a massive wall of all of their storage options and everything was fully stocked except that one spot where that those drawers were. So that's pretty disappointing. Um, hopefully they get some more at some point. I'll keep checking anyway. But otherwise I might have to find something else because currently they're just sitting on my shelf um, out, which is not so helpful. Uh, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Kelly who bought me a coffee over on Ko-Fi. Thank you so much. The support really helps. Um, and it's wonderful to know that people are still really enjoying my tutorial, which is um, still getting a lot of views, which is nice. Um, getting more people into micro crochet, which is great. Um, the more the better. Uh, but thank you so much. Uh, if you'd like to buy me a coffee over on Ko-Fi, uh, the link is down below and I will give you a shout out in the next video. Um, but other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed organizing my stash with me and seeing a little bit of behind scenes on the temperature blanket. Uh, I will hopefully be filming another video because I still haven't really done much and we're almost halfway through April and I'm still stuck at the end of February. So it's going to be a big update. <laughs> I really need to get onto that. Um, but yes, that'll be coming sometime. <laughs> I haven't started it yet, so um, I will get that out at some point. Uh, but yeah, I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. See ya! <laughs>